sooner or later you're going to be giving a presentation, you might as well learn how to give a killer presentation. Sooner or later, you're going to have the opportunity to deliver a presentation and you might as well do a killer presentation, meaning that the audience loved your presentation. You're able to manage your nerves, be able to organize your content and be able to deliver a great message. Cause you know, when you do a presentation, you really don't get a second chance. You get one chance to do a great job. So I want to show you some tips here about how to organize a great presentation. So literally people are talking about it for days, not that they're mocking you, but that they're remembering what it is that you taught, that what you taught and what you shared actually got inside them and they can remember it and recall it. And they literally are promoting you everywhere they go. Well, for every presentation, you got to plan on this. You got to get organized you, and, you know, waiting to the last minute to be able to get that done and, and you're not practicing, you're not organized that way. Of course, that's going to be a failure. Of course, that's not going to work out. So getting organized means you have a system or a particular template that you follow. So I want to show you a system and a template that I use that makes a big difference when I'm giving a presentation. Now I find that a presentation has four cornerstones to it. Literally how you build the foundation of anything in this world. It's got to have great, strong cornerstones, meaning you do not miss these steps during your presentation. Now the first is how you introduce yourself. Then the second, you can either instruct or invite and then, I mean, instruct and inspire. And then the last one is, is where you invite them to take action. So with these four, the two that you want to make sure that you've mastered really well is the invitation and also the introduction. The other two of inspire and instruct, those can be interchanged. You can do one and then the other one, and you can change those based upon the audience or the content that you're delivering. Now for each one of these cornerstones, there are particular questions that psychologically you're answering for the audience. In the intro, they want to know who you are and what it is that you're going to teach. In the instruct, they want to know how to use this and where to use this. And when you go to inspire them, why should I take action on this? And when should I take action? And then when it comes to the invitation, what's the next step and what is that I should do now? So for me, whenever I'm preparing a presentation, and the 5,700 plus presentations that I've done in my life, I follow this simple template. It's literally a plug and play. So when I do the intro, I know I've got to introduce myself, right? And who I am and, and where I come from and what it is that I'm talking about. That at the very beginning, you want it to be playful and big smiles, lots of great energy because first impressions last all the way through the presentation. And then when you go into instruct, be sure that you literally give them steps or a diagram and they want to know how and where should I use this information. Now, when you go to inspire, you might want to slow your voice down a little bit so your emotions can come to the surface and be able to deliver that part of your message with much more of a heartfelt. The instruct is more of the head. The inspire is more of the heart. So every presentation, you're addressing those who are head thinkers and you're addressing those in the inspire about those who are heartfelt. That way you're sure to motivate all different types of people in the audience because really there's only two personalities, those who think with their head and those who take uh, steps in their life because of what's in their heart. Now at the end, you want to be sure you really nail it down for them of what is their next step and what do they need to do now? Because every time there's a presentation, people wonder, okay, I learned a bunch of information, but what is it that I'm supposed to do now? So this simple template you see here is something I use every single time I do a presentation. In fact, I have a speaking engagement coming up this weekend, flying back East, speaking for a large company. And as I've been organizing my presentation, I've been checking the boxes. Ah, check it out. See all the four boxes, check the box. Make sure that you are covering that part and covering those questions. So psychologically, the audience is able to learn and listen and absorb what it is that you're teaching. So your next step is to use a template like this. No more random figuring out how to do a presentation. 
No more random kind of throwing it together. When you follow a system, it makes it a lot easier. And when you follow a system, your confidence goes up. Because when you're random, sure, I hear some people say, oh, but when I'm random, I'm just off the cuff. You know, I'm just more authentic. I don't think you're authentic because you're so in your head trying to figure out what to say next. I think when you plan and prepare and use a template like this, you actually can be more authentic because you're going to be relaxed because you're organized. And now you can be your real self. And you're a whole lot less nervous when you're prepared. So this is a great template to use in any presentation you have. And of course, don't forget, topic plus template is, and technique equals a great presentation. But you've got to practice. For every presentation you don't practice or review, how are you expected to do, to do better, right? So my, my magical formula is I've got to know what my topic is, use a template like this, and then use techniques to be able to engage and pull that audience in. Remember to practice. Now, for those of you who'd like to learn more about how to do presentations, you may want to check out our Present Yourself training here in Salt Lake City, which is a live training course. Because the more you have presentation skills and the better you are at presentation skills, notice the advantage you have in life. Promotions happen because of presentation skills. You get picked above anybody else when it comes to having better presentation skills. So check it out and use that template because this template right here is what's gonna help you stand out and have a killer presentation.